Hi, this is Dan from Tiny Home Builders. In this video, I'm gonna be installing a subfloor on top of one of our tiny house trailers. The first step is to install the metal underside flashing. The metal underside flashing protects the underside of the trailer, the insulation, as well as holds the insulation in place while it's being installed. The product that we're using is something called 5V crimp. It has five little crimps in it. And those we wanna make sure we position such that it doesn't interfere. They don't interfere with the beams of the trailer. However, at the ends of the trailer, the beams run perpendicular to those ridges, so we need to cut away some little notches there so that they don't interfere, so that we can make sure that it lays flat. These pieces just go together by overlapping each other, so we just repeat that process until the entire trailer is covered. For this house, we're going to be using XPS board, so this underside flashing is really important. However, if we were using spray foam, which is what we often use now, we would actually skip this step entirely, and that would leave the underside of the subfloor exposed so that when we have the spray foam installed, they could just get underneath the trailer and spray it in there as well. We'd still have to protect it, and so in that case, we would be using something called plastic core. Now that we've installed the underside flashing, it's time to install the wood subfloor. Now for the wood subfloor, we're gonna use two by fours, and we can get away with using a, a thinner lumber um, because we're relying on the support of the metal trailer. If this was going on a foundation, we would have to use um, a material that's much bigger than, than two by fours. We place each section on the trailer and we hold it in place with clamps temporarily. We make sure that we get it exactly where we want it and also we make sure that it's perfectly square. We do that by measuring from each corner, each opposing corner, and making sure that the two measurements equal each other. Once we have the floor sections exactly where we want them, we can start to secure it to the trailer. Now I typically start with just a few bolts to make sure the section doesn't move, but then after all floor sections are put in place, I'll come back and install all the bolts. When I'm making the holes, I'm starting with a paddle bit. And that makes a big enough hole that it can hide or recess the head of the bolt. I then use a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill through the remainder of the joist and also the metal flange of the trailer. I can then install the bolt with a washer on it and I make sure the bolt protrudes through the bottom about an inch. That gives me enough distance or enough length to install another washer, a lock washer, and then the nut. Here I'm installing some bracing, and this is recommended anytime your subfloor overhangs or extends beyond the width of the trailer itself. Now a lot of times we build our trailers to be the exact width of the framing of our subfloor, but in this case the subfloor actually overhangs about two or three inches, and so we're adding the additional bracing. Next step is to add the insulation, and like I said, in this case we're using XPS boards. We'll typically use closed cell spray foam, which is installed by spraying it up underneath, but in this case, in smaller trailers, we do use the XPS boards. The first step is to cut that down to size so that it fits within the channels that we've created in our subfloor. Now, if you, if you cut this to be the exact size of your channel, there's, it's gonna have a very hard time, you're gonna have a very hard time fitting it into those channels. So what we will do is we will cut it about a half inch smaller in all dimensions for the channel that it's gonna fit into. And that gives us, after it's centered, about a quarter inch to a half inch all the way around it to insert spray foam that we can then spray in to make sure that it's an airtight seal. The last step is to install the subfloor sheathing. The subfloor sheathing is three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood. We run that down the length of the trailer with the seam staggered every four feet. Before installing each sheet, we run a bead of liquid nails on all of the joists. We then position the board in place and attach it using two inch screws. 